thank you all for joining us this morning. It's fun to talk about orthodontics. And, and Phil, I'm going to ask you, tell me the changes that you've seen uh, in your practice over the years. Uh, it's been quite significant. Um, I've been in practice 35 years. And when I started, uh, we used full bands uh, around all the teeth. Today, we have tiny little brackets that we bond to the teeth. And uh, the arch wires were all stainless steel at that time, and now we have nickel titanium wires, uh, which really that alloy came out of the heat shield of the, of the space, first space capsule. So we've uh, used space technology for orthodontics. So tell me about the research innovations that are going on in orthodontics. The most important research is to try and make orthodontics either more efficient or to make it shorter the time frame shorter. We have embarked on studies at Baylor. Uh, we've had outcome on some of them that is, shows, shows a lot of promise. Over the years, it's been wonderful to have a collaboration of a wonderful team, and I think that's made Baylor one of the leaders of providing research data as a contribution to better healthcare in orthodontics. Tell me about digital dentistry and the impact that it's having. We can use these digital records that we take to manufacture braces, uh, custom-made brackets, especially if we are using lingual brackets. There are also other uh, methods that we use for treating patients, whether we use uh, plastic aligners to those are used or manufactured digitally. Tell me about a little bit about some of the new materials that you're using. We've incorporated little mini implant screws uh, to help us um, provide that anchorage so it's not really visible and it's not dependent on patient compliance. So that I think has been a real advantage and I would almost say one of the new milestones in orthodontics. We talked about traditional brackets and aligners. How do you know when to use an aligner versus traditional brackets? The key is the diagnosis. Sometimes you can use allow limited control to do some tooth movements, and for those movements, an aligner or some other removable appliance is fine. But there are other instances where you need a lot of control in your tooth movements, and in those cases, that can only be accomplished with brackets. I've had patients come into my office, and and they ask for aligners, and maybe they have a real severe malocclusion or bite problem and it just wouldn't work and you know so we have to look at uh, minor tooth movements is pr primarily all you can do in my opinion with with the liners. You provide a wonderful service for the community by seeing patients here at the school. Tell me the advantages, um, disadvantages of being a patient here at the school. You know their treatment could take just a little longer uh, not always, but every case is supervised by one of our full-time or part-time faculty. We have over 20 faculty members. Most of our part-time faculty members are, practice in the Metroplex, and they're excellent orthodontists. And so they supervise every step so that our residents are the cream of the crop. We, we get a, approximately 225 applicants per year and we only take six. So it's very competitive to get into our program. And is the cost higher or lower than in a private office? It's considerably lower. Depending on the private office, it tends to be about half of the cost. There's a tremendous interest in orthodontics by the public. Where should they go to learn? When you have a good ethical family dentist that you have confidence in, he's gonna generally refer you to the orthodontist that he feels best about. So a good relationship with your family dentist is always excellent. Uh, if you look around, you'll see plenty of people with braces. It won't be hard to find someone with braces and talk to them. Uh, unfortunately, I find people will talk to more, pe more of their friends about a barber than they will a healthcare professional. So talk to, talk to your friends and acquaintances. They can go to the website for the American Association of Orthodontics and find a wealth of information on orthodontics.